Beat Writer Q&A, 5 questions with Clemson beat writer Scott Kiepfer, in order to get the perspective of Auburn's opponent in this top 15 matchup in Week 2 Saturday night, 7 p.m., ESPN, Clemson beat writer Scott Kiepfer was nice enough to take time this week to field some questions about the number 3 defending national champions. Q, give us an overview of Kelly Bryant. Obviously he had a big opening weekend game against Kent State, but this is his first big start of his college career, and I'm curious how you think he'll handle the pressure of taking over for Deshaun Watson? SK, this will be Bryant's first legitimate test. He played only sparingly behind Deshaun Watson the past two seasons, so he remains a largely unproven talent, although he has shown flashes of brilliance, particularly in the running game. Bryant entered the Miami game two years ago as a freshman and promptly reeled off a 58-yard touchdown run. He's particularly effective as a runner on broken plays, but that also has led some to believe that he's a one-trick tiger. Coaches insist that he showed much improvement with his passing last spring as well as in fall camp, and he certainly shined last week in a rout of Kent State, but the Auburn game may be his first true test in that regard. To his credit, Bryant says he just wants to be the best version of me and not the next Watson, so at least his head is in the right place in that regard. Having tutored behind Watson and the outstanding example he set, both on and off the field, for the past two years should help. More, Stidham must deliver when all else fails at number 3 Clemson Q. D and Kane vs Auburn cornerbacks, specifically Carlton Davis is a matchup I'm really looking forward to. Is there another WR? that you think Auburn needs to pay attention to from a big play perspective, because Hunter Renfro is a seemingly known commodity as well. SK, the Kane vs Davis matchup certainly should steal the spotlight, but fans may want to keep an eye on Ray Ray McLeod, a speedy playmaker who is capable of taking a short pass the distance at any time. McLeod, who also is Clemson's primary punt return threat, was in coach Debo Swinney's doghouse much of last year, after fumbling one punt and dropping the ball, before crossing the goal line on another, negating a 75-yard touchdown return. Swinney said McLeod possesses a different mince at this season and that could pay off as opposing defenses focus much of their attention on Kane and Renfro. Q, Brent Venables has a reputation of being an aggressive defensive coordinator, and so I would assume his plan is to bring lots of pressure against Stidham in only his fifth career start, correct? How do you think he'll approach his plan with Auburn knowing they'll have to try and run the ball against Clemson's highly talented defensive front? SK, Venables loves to bring pressure as evidenced by the fact that his defenses have led the nation in total tackles for loss for each of the past four seasons. Venables has proven to be quite adept at identifying how best to employ his personnel and will bring pressure from all levels of the defense. That being said, the Tigers' front for this season is probably the best in school history. Tackles Christian Wilkins and Dexter Lawrence are all America candidates, and ends Clellan Farrell and Austin Bryant are potential all-star candidates as well, so expect them to attempt to collapse the pocket and keep Stidham on the run from the outset. How Wilkins and Lawrence fare against Auburn's offensive front and rushing attack early in the game will dictate much of the game plan for Venables, who is among the best at in-game adjustments. Q, needless to say, Kevin Steele surprised a lot of people last year with his ability to turn this Auburn defense around starting with their performance against Clemson in the 2016 opener. Is it your opinion and quite frankly, the opinion of most at Clemson, that in hindsight he got remembered too much for the 70 points Clemson gave up in the Orange Bowl and that tarnished what was a decent to solid tenure as a DC under Debo Swinney? SK, yes. The majority of Clemson fans still moan at the mere mention of Kevin Steele's name, probably unfairly. Giving up 70 points in a bowl game tends to stick with folks far longer than it should, but the fact of the matter is that Steele is a solid coach with sound defensive strategies and a proven record at multiple levels. He certainly dialed up a solid defensive effort last season against Clemson, it was one of the Tigers' closest games all season. Q, any injury news on the Clemson side that could affect this game? SK, not much on the injury front, which is good news for Clemson. Starting safety Van Smith is questionable with a knee injury suffered against Kent State last week, but the Tigers are fairly deep at that position. Kvon Wallace, a sophomore who is short on experience but long in talent, will start in Smith's place if he's unable to go.